everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you've had a fab week and it's been chill and it's not been so hectic because this time of year is very hectic but i thought we have quite a fun day planned i'm actually going into london today to meet my friend chloe you guys will probably already follow her or know of her it's all chloe rose i'll pop her little uh handle up here so you can go check her out because she's the queen of style and lifestyle and home and everything but we usually do one day a year a bit of a festive um day and we normally go to harrods and have just like the most fun girly bougie fun day and celebrate christmas and her birthday so it was her birthday um earlier in the month i think it's the 12th and we've had a couple of dates in and things have been moved and all that kind of thing it's so hard this time of year but today is the day so we're gonna go into london i've got a quick meeting first and then i'm off to meet chloe after that we're gonna go to harrods have a mooch around and then maybe go to harry's for lunch and then I think we have an event with Night Timber afterwards. So it's going to be a very glamorous vlog that is not the usual, but I think it's going to be really fun. And I just thought if you like watching a girly trip, a girl's day, and you're in the mood for one, why don't you come with us? Also, side note, side, oh, I also, side note, got my hair done yesterday. So it's a little bit darker, a bit richer. I love how my hairdresser does my hair. She always absolutely nails it. We also cut some shorter pieces in and stuff just so when I style it, it's a little bit more fluffy. Um, so I'm really happy. I've still kept my lighter ends and things. So really love my hair at the minute. It's just one of those that when it's so fresh, like with the products she uses, it's a bit soft. So it's probably not gonna stay like this, that's for sure. But I'm really excited for today. It's gonna be a little bit festive, super girly, fun. I love Harrods this time of year. So let's go. plastic oh she's doing the the test I think it is fast. yeah yeah I think it's just sturdy very sturdy but look at where we are guys look how Christmassy it is we are in the Harrods food hall and it's always so festive we tend to come here every year I was about to say this is our annual trip what are you thinking food wise a hundred percent I will come down from Scotland for this or you can come up to Aberdeen stay out we can mix it yeah, we can mix and match. But yeah, this, uh, this menu looks really good actually. This is lovely. We're currently at Pasta Vangelis. Oh, that looks good. With like tomato and burrata. Oh, that's a bit of us. Sorry guys, I haven't talked to you at all. I know I was actually like, I'm going to go into London and meet Chloe. And then I had a meeting and I haven't picked up the camera since. It gets so dark. It's so busy. I'm just busy business woman on the move. But I was just saying, well, yeah, I was saying in my last meeting, but I know Chloe will feel the same. Do you just feel London right now is so chaotic? I haven't come in really. Exactly. Yeah. So if I've got my camera out and I'm vlogging, guys, yeah, I give myself the ick. Yeah. There's so much people trying to do things, see things, and I'm just holding up traffic. But we're in Harrods. We're having gorgeous little drinks. I've got myself a Google Spritz. I know, look how refreshing that is. We're going to pick a few things from the menu. We just have a good, curly ketchup. But look how good all of this looks. Are we. I'm going to have some pasta is because that looks good. But we're definitely having some ketchup, right? Yeah. No service. It all looks so good. I just fancy a bit of a mooch. I know I need to get some lunch 
don't know if I'm allergic to what I'm trying, but my eyes are just a little bit red, and that'll be why my eyes were red in my other video. I feel like it's mascara. So if you can't hear a thing, it is loud. It's got some live performers, and they're very good. But it's loud. But yeah, we've been fed and watered, and it's time to do a bit of shopping. I am packing my bags, I am leaving Think I'm going to Paris or Rome I gotta get out of this god-awful place That I used to call my home Maybe I'm going to London Gotta find some place new I'll move to a dump In a faraway slum To help me forget about you Hello, I've just at my desk finishing up for the day. It's Friday and it's about half four and I didn't even get to properly outro meeting Chloe and Harrods and everything like that. It was such a good day. Well, kind of like half a day evening. It was just what I needed. Just a little bit of fun, catching up and yeah, just mooching around Harrods. Who doesn't love that? But I thought we'd actually turn this vlog, because that isn't enough to make a vlog out of, into like a Christmas shopping vlog, because this evening, me and Adam, we're heading off to Bister Village, because we have some much needed Christmas items that we need to pick up that is on our gift list for people. I've barely done any Christmas shopping this year. I'm really not organised at all, and I just feel like if I go to Bister Village, that is like a couple ticked off. And um, like, I, I, I don't know, I can't say because people might be watching this, so I can't give details. There's a couple things I need to pick up from Bister Village um, for presents. And I feel like it's Black Friday weekend. So whether that's gonna be the death of us, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be chaos and so busy. I feel like everywhere I'm going at the minute is chaos and busy, but we're gonna go and chance it anyway. So I thought I'd take you guys along with us to do some Christmas shopping and some bits like that and Mr. Village is always such a treat to shop around this time of year. They always have gorgeous kind of like floral displays, they have really nice pop-up shops, really good brands, really good food stalls etc. So it should be really nice. I absolutely love going there. It's one of my favourite places around where I live. I thought let's extend it and let's do some luxury bougie shopping in Mr. Village because we've done Harrods so let's do Bister. We've made it to Bister Village and they've actually like barricaded parts of the car park. So not quite sure what's that about. I think that's part of like the Black Friday people control. I don't know if you guys notice it. They talk the big talk and then you go into the stores and even though it might say like up to 70% off, it's actually only like 10, 20% and that's like a year round offer. That is not a Black Friday offer. Um, so I'm hoping the discounts are quite good. I really want to go to Polo Ralph Lauren mm -hmm. and I would really like to go into Barber and I think the other ones will just mooch around when we see. There's also, I don't know if you guys have seen it on social media, but there's like a lint chocolate. That's quite close to Ralph Lauren. Is it? Okay, yeah. good. That's meant to be close by and I think it's like the only one in Europe. Come in a little bit, you're not really in it. I think it's like the only one in Europe as well, so I'm really wanting to check, check that out but it's about quarter to seven now so I don't want to like take up too much time I'm just giving you like a little rundown of what we're gonna see but I also want to show you really quickly these um, gloves I picked up from the garden center they were so good the real suede real leather velvet lined in the inside absolutely love them oh I forgot I got you some, and I got Adam some gloves as well Again, real shirling, it keeps it's them terrible. so cosy and they work with my phone, which is ideal. So do not sleep on garden centers because I love them. They're like this beautiful dark 
chocolate suede and they fit my hands so well and the fact that I can still use them for my phone and everything is so perfect there's nothing worse than taking something on and off constantly but yeah I'm really excited I'm I just love Bister Village this time of year and I don't think we even told you we did a little Bister shoot didn't we yeah we did we did a shoot um and made some content with Bister Village the group um and that's like live on their website and Instagram and stuff now, isn't it? Yeah, which is really cool. So we actually partnered up with Bister Village and we went to a townhouse in London. Adam shot it all, edited it all. And I was just model. I didn't really do that much in comparison. But if you ever see me on the Bister Collective or Bister Village on their Instagram pages, you know it's Adam that did all the shooting. So that's really cool, especially because it's one of our favorite places. So definitely one of my favorite partnerships this year. It was one of those that was on like the list. So really happy but we're just gonna wrap up and get going and let's do a bit of shopping oh my gosh guys look how magical Vista Village looks this time of year look at all the lights this is like the main walkway into the village itself and look how good that looks I love that they've got all of the lights on the trees super busy very busy but it looks so Christmassy I cannot get over it I feel like they've actually went above and beyond it, like all the Christmas trees are out it looks amazing the queue for Ugg oh my gosh that won't be me it won't be me Ugg I love you but that can't be me we're actually gonna make our way all the way down first and then make our way back in the hope that it's a bit quieter by the time we start heading back but it is absolutely crazy i'm sorry if the, if the focus keeps coming in and out but it's actually such a good time because i feel like everyone's in a good mood they're not burnt out by christmas yet and there's like fake snow machines around which makes everything just look extra magical Ralph Lauren store. I've actually done a little TikTok Instagram so if you want to see that head over there but now I think me and Adam have decided we want to treat ourselves so I think we're going to try out that Lint chocolatier place because I'm going to have a bit of a hot chocolate situation. I'm so looking forward to it so I'm going to find him and then force him to have a nice hot chocolate with me. Also look how good the Holland Cooper store looks. Do you can see it in the background. They do the best Christmas themed everything. I've also heard that they're doing, they've released a Christmas candle called Noel and that is meant to be gorgeous as well. Um, but it's much quieter now, so if you are thinking of coming to Bister, seven ish seems to be the best time. While Adam is waiting on the chocolates, I think I might nip into Loewe, which is like my favorite store ever. I've actually purchased quite a bit from this store before, so let's have a little look inside. Because I can see from their windows that they have some amazing bags in. Let me show you. This is like one of my favorite bag shapes ever. It's actually very new for Loewe as well. I feel like this coat is a dream coat. Look at that. I think 
Oh, I've got such good colors at the minute. Have you tried the hot chocolates yet? <gasps> We've seen this on Instagram and everything. I'm so excited. Is it like rich, indulgent type thing? Yes, oh my god, is. two gloves drain old. That is so scary. I know. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. Oh, has it got the little logo on it? No, just so nice. Oh. Look how yummy that looks. Cheers. Woo! We almost finished it. I'm gonna try it for the first time. I'm so excited. I'm wearing all white as well. Because it's rich, but it doesn't feel like it's just melting chocolate. It actually feels like it's a proper hot chocolate, but you can tell it's made of real chocolate. That is absolutely gorgeous, and it's not like roasting hot. Mm. So good. I just need to make sure it doesn't go my white outfit. <laughs> Justin Barber just now, and look how beautiful that Christmas wrapping is, just in the window display. I feel like that would give me so much inspiration. But we're coming in because if you're ever looking for barber jackets. Now is such a good time to find them because there's just stacks and stacks and stacks and styles of barber jackets and we are such a big fan. We wear them so much and we just think you get really good value. Exactly, you're wearing one now. They're just such good value. Um, so we're just going to have a look at all the different colours and all the different styles and see if we can maybe see one. Okay, we found a style we really like in a colourway that we like. It's a really good value. I think it's 166 and this seems really nice on, very smart. It's a bit more green in real life. Plenty of pockets, collar. How do you feel? Yeah, good. I mean, again, even, even like a little bit oversized, that's what I mean. This There's the actually first. not crazy amounts of differences in the sizing. This is the first time I've ever tried an extra large on my fit. I know, they are more fitted, Barber. They're definitely more fitted, but really nice details. They suit you. I feel like Barber really suits you. A little voice over here because I tried it a couple of shops, loved these glasses, but they weren't discounted. So for me, I'm gonna go to the real store for the real deal. I did pop into Prada and I had to sneakily film this on my phone, but I love these suede little loafers, the penny loafers from Miu Miu gorgeous but guys i went over to the bali flats as i always do with prada the best footwear is in the store and i have been looking for these for so long i actually inquired about them but they didn't have my size otherwise they'd be coming home because they were 380 reduced from like 800 pounds so it was actually quite a big discount for this one but unfortunately no size for me i did try on some sunglasses and i loved these ones i think Miu Miu and prada are in the same store i think they're under the same fashion house but i struggle to try on these glasses so much because look at this security Attack. it was so in the way but i did love them so i'm definitely thinking about these ones for sure i just nipped into prada but you can't really film there so i didn't use my camera the amount of times i want to go into dior and there's always the biggest queue like you see everyone waiting there it's just not happening but they have the most gorgeous windows if you're in london you should absolutely check out the bond street display gorgeous but me and adam had a little bit of a separate so that i could go and shop basically but look how beautiful the store is. So stunning inside, but it's very hard to get in. That's us just back. And was it successful? I don't know. We did get a couple of Christmas presents, which was good. For myself, all I managed to get was a little sausage roll. It's from the Cotswolds guy, um, but it does look really good. It's there, so that's it what I'm gonna- good. It does smell good. So that's what I'm gonna munch on the way home. But what did you think? What's like your overall thoughts about it? Um, it looks amazing. There's yeah, the Christmas decorations are so good, aren't they? Yeah, there are some good sales in some of the shops, but they are kind of on the stuff that they, I think, aren't like the premium stuff in their stores. That stuff they're trying to get rid, that's what I said earlier. Yeah, that stuff doesn't really fall under their sales. And there was plenty that they have around the back that they aren't including because a lot of it looked bare and yeah and the some of the i think 20 percent was the most that i seen percentage wise most is 10 percent you better start a black friday bister village conspiracy i am it, I, I, it was I, the stuff. good stuff i back. always do and i remember we talked about this last year bister village is at its best discounts in december like mid like maybe mm. second weekend to December is when it starts getting really good because obviously all these people have sales targets and they're trying to like cash in on it early because right now it ain't the time but yeah. it was beautiful to go do you know the boxing day sailor like no it does the same thing i feel like 
bit of stability is always like good that. when you least expect it and i feel like i've been plenty of times before and just lucked out mm. but it does look amazing like the decorations are incredible they've got snow machines little letters to santa where you can like post your um letter and i'll tell you what was successful oh, what that lint hot chocolate oh my gosh the lint hot chocolate was unreal mm. so good and i did get christmas presents so that it was semi-productive yeah. but anyway I'm gonna shut up now. I want to end the vlog here. It's been a very shopping, retail, Christmassy vlog already. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with us and I hope it's given you a little bit of motivation to start your Christmas shopping. If like me, you haven't really started. This is just me dipping my toe into it now. But if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you over here. If you've got any questions or comments, pop them down in the comment section below because I love getting back to you guys all. And I do recognize everyone who comments. So and I'm so appreciative of it. So thank you. Have a fantastic week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.